Uh, okay, so it's 24th of December 2014. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. There are a few things on our minds as parents, as guardians, uh, as family. And that's what I am here to, so we can get some sort of help to make the Christmas better. So what can you do with the family this Christmas season? And if you haven't bought anything yet, what, what are the ideas? What can you afford to buy? Uh, my guest this morning to help us uh, with all the details is Mrs. Cecilia Osafo. Uh, she's a marriage counselor. She's got a, a, a children's playground as well, so she can tell us all the fun bits as well. And then Richard Mensah is with Janelle a Gift Shop. So good morning and thank you for your time. Good morning. good morning. Okay, let me start with you, Richard. Are people still shopping? Um, yes, of course. People are still shopping. People are still making plans. People are still, you know, wondering what to buy, where to get it and all that. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's an still ongoing process until the day itself. What is hot? What are people buying? Uh, a lot, from simple things, depending on um, what uh, the idea is. But people walk in with their own prepared ideas already. Okay. Some people also come you know, with no idea at all, so they'll be relying on the uh, sales officers there to help them to, help them pick, something. to pick something and okay. put it together. Right. And so it's, it's an ongoing process. Okay. And of course, um, the, the sales uh, people who are really there to help, especially if you don't even have any idea, you mm -hmm. walk in and we definitely help you to pick something nice that meets your expectation. Okay. I am asking Cici, what can people, I think it's a million. Uh, yes. Dollar question. Mm -hmm. um, children are on vacation. Yeah. Parents have holidays. Some yes. are on leave. But what can they do with the, with, with the entire family, especially without electricity? <laughs> so say TV <laughs> is off. What can you plan? You know, Christmas is a time for mainly Christians and non-Christians as well. Mm -hmm. We all celebrate. And uh, during that period too, we have, uh, it's a holiday time. More especially uh, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and, and the first uh, January. Unfortunately, this weekend it's quite a long weekend mm -hmm. for most of us. Yeah. And uh, you have the kids at home from holidays, and uh, we expect the parents at least to be at home with them for once. You know, sometimes when the children are in school or on holidays parents will be at work mm -hmm. but then for this period uh, most people do organize in such a way that they are able to have their holidays so we expect parents especially to have time with their oh, kids okay. at home okay. and as you just said there are so many things that they can do uh -huh. for them such as uh, such as just <laughs> as my friend here was saying that you know, children like new things. They want to see new things throughout the year. You may buy something for them, but uh, just before Christmas, they would also like to go shopping. As I'm just trying to uh, uh, add up to what is. So you can said. take them shopping. You can take them? them out for shopping. Okay. And uh, in school too, they normally have, um, you know, carols are sung uh, once a year during Christmas time. So when children hear these songs too, it, uh, it, it encourages them, it, uh, I mean, it makes them happy, they know they are going to get new things, daddy and mommy are going to be around them. Mm. So the moment they hear the carols and all that's being, all those songs being sung, they feel so happy and uh, they know parents are around with them. So take, so, take, mm -hmm. take them out. Uh, yes. to church activities, activities for like, like the nativity scenes during those. Mm. In fact, the children themselves take part. And uh, sometimes parents uh, will just take them, some, some, some parents, yeah. uh, especially some daddies. <laughs> <laughs> so Richard, um, you know how a lot of us are crying around this time that we don't have enough money. I know that the hamper that you have there, this is heavy. Yes, it is. But how much money do I need to get a gift? for my children for instance uh, yes um, you don't you really don't need to have much to really uh, you know get a gift to put a smile on the faces of your children and there are so many things you can do for instance depending on the age their age category I mean you can even come up with a new ideas of inculcating um, reading habits by you know the parents sitting them down you know and reading to them and all that but for instance for, uh, for our gen at Janelle we have um, gifts 
for for children. I mean, between the age of um, toddlers to maybe um, uh, teenagers. So definitely, you don't really need to have much to to put it. That's you know, right. you know how we hear all the time that you don't need much, you don't need much, but you you're not saying much. anything. You don't need <laughs> like, can I? Can, if I have ten cities, if I have twenty, if I have fifty. Of, of course, uh, Ajina, and uh, you know, not having much does not mean you should have value for money. And we, we have different categories of customers, and I mean, every, mm. board, every customer is but, important. But what, so I wa what I want the discussion to also help uh, with is that we go beyond, yeah. you okay. know, so, so that we give broader of ideas course. to people. But I think I like the fact that it doesn't matter how much you have, of you can course. always get something. But how do you know, Antisisi, what is appropriate to get? For who? Like usually, children food. children are, are not always fascinated by the things that parents buy for them. They yeah. think they're doing something, yeah. but really they're doing nothing. Yes. Yeah. But so if you have the fear that okay, if I if I if I take the children with me, mm -hmm. they may go beyond my budget. Yes, yeah, of course. So you want to go without <laughs> them? Well, I think I think once once a while you have to at least give them the option to make a choice. Mm. At least you can let them and explain to them if they demand too much at least you have to explain to them to know that this is your budget, this is what you have, this is what you can afford to buy for them. So that at least you make them part of you, part of the decision making. Instead of you deciding throughout the whole year, you've decided for them. Mm. At least for once, let them make a choice. And uh, you let them know which ones they can choose, you know, and uh, uh, they feel happy. They feel happy that at least you're giving them that opportunity. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, Richard, beyond the, the children, let, let's go to parents. Okay. Uh, sometimes I think we ignore the fact that we exist, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. either as a couple or, you know, as my mother is there, my father is there. What are the options? if you want to get something for your in-laws, your parents, or your spouse? Of course, um, th there are so many things, uh, ideas that you can come up with. And you see, uh, expressing your love through a gift, you should, you should have, you might have had some relationship with the person, so you know exactly what the person likes, and mm. you know, so I, I think it, it starts from knowing about the person, you have built a relationship with the person for some time, so you know that maybe the per she, she might like jewelry, yeah. she might like, he might like perfume, he might like belts, you see, so you, you must be able to do some, you know, thoughtful thinking about what will really appeal to the person at that particular moment. So you, you cascade it down to, okay, now having known at, at least the person, you know, what he might want, mm -hmm. then you just go in to get it. Then you don't, it that shouldn't be, a, you know, something expensive. It could be maybe a book, it could be um, baking tools for, for your grandma, you know, they still like to bake. Uh, it could be maybe a jewelry, it could be a cloth, it could be a belt, it could be a perfume, it could even be uh, just a, a poem or a story about some past experiences that you've had together. Then you just read it to them. Right. But to okay. Because well, I, I, I was just thinking, maybe write it down. Can you write a letter? <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, maybe you, you've shared some experience together. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So just recount the experience. Exactly. You just write it in a poem or in a short story. And you read it out to the person. Mm -hmm. and it's so, you know, exciting. Yeah, but nice unfortunately, idea. our part of the world, we are not used to, you know, these things. These things. But now, you know, society is changing, it's changing so fast. So I think these are some of the things that we should also get used to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and go beyond the usual food and material and all. There's so many things you can do. If you, you can even, uh, maybe your time. Around this time, mm -hmm. maybe you, you can just call a family. Maybe some some people are traveling all around. Maybe you can just go and leave the house for them for a day or two. You can maybe just go for and offer your help mm -hmm. to a certain couple. Maybe you help to cook together. You yeah. cook for them. You can even go to a children's home or something. It doesn't cost offer money. Yourself. Maybe your time. You see. Mm -hmm. So there are so many ideas that. You can come you, up you with. You just have to with. sit down and think about the person. You shouldn't yeah. be dependent on money per se, okay. no not at all. But what if you, you really want to get a gift for somebody who you think has got everything? It's not so easy, you know, it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. But then just as uh, we are discussing, 
Um, looking at the person, looking at the person, the little that you can offer, sometimes the person may have all that he or she needs. So just sometimes even the visit itself, visit itself, you give, you, you spend time with the person, mm. uh -huh. you know, uh, the person may be lonely, may, may have uh, grown up children who might have married and have left the home. So at least you can pay a visit, spend some time, uh, which may not, uh, may you have to make sure that you don't bore the person as well. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes, yes. But then you find out, apart from giving a gift, apart from giving a gift, at least the visits can also help. Okay. It can also help. And it shouldn't be just once. I mean, periodically you pay a visit. You know, such people, let's say you have a painting or something, the person may not need money per se, may not need the perfumes and other things, but maybe some decoration, some paintings, pictures, I mean pictures, wall hangings and other things. It's so interesting mm. uh, to have those things around. And I'm sure the person will never forget, especially those nice, nice ones that he can mm. hang. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Richard, you know how sometimes you think you are giving your time to someone and they are saying behind your back that, eh, as he came, he didn't even come with anything. Like he came <laughs> empty handed just with himself. Some people have that fear of they may not appreciate the time, even though time is very precious. Yeah. So, what are the tiny little things you can take along, even when you want to do time? Um, yes, like I, I started off by saying, um, you have to know the person. Some people are chocolate lovers. So we just, maybe when you're going... Um, so this season you still can do chocolates? Yes, we can, because if, if the person, if that's what you know, you know uh, your friend, he like, he's a fan of chocolate, you can't do otherwise, you know. It's simple, it's, it's nice, you appreciate it, you will jump to it and all that. So uh, if, if uh, it's a tea, tea lover, we can just get a, 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 a set of uh, tea cups with salsa. It will be a tea bag. If I'm a coffee lover, a uh, flower, maybe somebody likes flowers. Maybe mm. you can, like she said, maybe you can arrange a very nice, maybe fresh flowers or maybe even artificial flowers. Do, do we appreciate flowers in this part of our world? No, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. So, so it depends, depends on the person. It appeals to you. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it might not appeal to you, but it might appeal mm. to her. Like you said, mm. painting. Some people know painting means nothing to anybody, but the way they appreciate it, they will know even where it comes from, who designed it, and all that. They even know the stories behind it and all that. So it, it, you have to know the person. Mm. You have to. It is very important. You have to know the person. So. Maybe you just go there with, with, with something in, in your hands. Like you said, it shouldn't be anything expensive. Mm. And I also don't think that it's not everything that should also be reduced to money, per se. Yeah. So if you are offering your time, you don't have to, you know, be second-guessing the person, but mm, they might not even appreciate it. It's coming from your heart, and that's the way you have chosen to express your love to mm. if you, you, are, you are chosen to give. So it's, it's on your side to give them. The, the other person is only receiving it. So okay. I don't think it's, it's much of a problem. When you, if you want to put something together like a hamper, mm -hmm. uh, what, what should you be thinking about? Um, yes. Some, like I said, some people have ideas already. Some people don't. Uh, so maybe, in, especially when you are writing to put something together, it depends. So you have to consider the person, the fact that they, you have to, if it's, is it a person, a, a male or a female, um, what's the age group and all that. So maybe you can't give a feminine hamper to a masculine, okay. maybe you cloth and all that, even though you might share some of the things with the family, but you must, at least about 80% of the 90% of the things in the hamper should target the person. So, for example, I, I'll give you. We, we, we've got a, we've got one sitting in front of us. Yes, Who's so the target of this one? Um, this one is a bit corporate. So maybe you can give it to a, maybe your pastor. You can give it to your boss. You can give it to something that somebody that you know you've built a relationship that you respect so much. Okay. And, and you see, so maybe you everything comes out. You know, you know the class of the person. You know the person's. You know what what moves the person is taste and all that. 
So you put it uh, based on some demographic, you know, factors. Mm. Yeah, so you don't give a masculine uh, how bad to a feminine because he might not, you know, really I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So. Okay. Yes. I think, you know, you, you've got a playground. Yes. Uh, so yes. around this time in particular, what mm -hmm. are some of the things that children can be involved in? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Do we have playgrounds where ch parents can just go and leave the children for, for maybe two, three hours yes. and go yeah. and come back? Yes. That's, we, that's the sort we actually do at okay. our place at mm -hmm. uh, NTHC Prestige Homes. Yes, at Adjurigano. Um, the parents normally bring in their children. We have caregivers around. So for some of them, they just feel they can sit around and watch their children play or they leave them mm. for about two, three hours, an hour. Sometimes they go around to make their hair and the you know, it's just Polish like them. Just yes, yes, relax yes. themselves while uh -huh. the children are yes, involved in something else. It's, it's, it's like a mini mall, mm. so the playground is there for the kids as well. So when they come, uh, you know, kids they drink a lot of water, playing around, they sweat, and they enjoy themselves with popcorn, ice cream, and all that. They bounce on the trampoline and the uh, you know they sweat a lot mm. and uh, it's a good exercise for them and they always trouble the parents to bring them mm. so they always tell me oh it is you always been collecting our money <laughs> money 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 because when the see, children come, they really the, sweat the, the other issue mm. is we don't have pu Much. public places yes. where you can take yes. children of to course. go and play yes. Yes. i mean you have yes. to look for a private place and then pay yes and i think the parents really appreciate that they really they've seen the essence of uh, I mean, exposing their kids because for some of them, even sitting on the swing, they, they, they feel so scared, sliding on the uh, uh, bouncy castle, they feel so scared, others jumping up and down, they feel scared, they don't want to, but for now, immediately they come, within a short period, mm. they get used to, I mean, mingling with other children and having fun. And for them, it's really fun, it's mm. really fun and a good exercise for them because some are very fat, you know, these kids these days, <laughs> they have a lot of them, a lot of them. Okay. So fat. Well, yes. Okay. Yes. So I guess, you know, what I pick out is you can go to the playgrounds, for yes. instance. Yes. Uh, you can take part in uh, lots of activities around the season. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are reenacting the birth of Christ, for instance. Yes. So take mm -hmm. the children. Uh, at my church, for instance, mm -hmm. ICGC Christ Temple. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a whole kitty affair right now. Yeah. You can just take them and let them have fun. Mm -hmm. And for the gifts? Of course, we come to the regular shop. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, if, because uh, Christmas is just, uh, just tomorrow, and you have to consolidate your shopping, where one stop shopping where you can get everything from your kids to your mom to husband, wives, mm -hmm. grannies, and all that. Everybody, you just have to walk in. And, you know, it's everything. It's not. Now that you'll be going, because you don't have time. Yeah. I mean, now. There's uh, a lot of traffic. traffic there's a is, lot of yeah. traffic. So, and General Gift Shop is in town, just at Tesano Gardens. So, I mean, it, it's consolidated. You, okay. you just. Do don't go beyond that, that, otherwise I'll <laughs> charge you. But I want to say thank you really Welcome. for your time. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate your time You're this morning. Welcome. All right, so those are the options that you have. Stay with us here on the AM show. Still a lot more to come.